Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Vivek Venkatramani, consultant neuro-oncologist and robotic surgeon in Mumbai. Surgery for testicular cancer is basically divided into two types. The initial one is the orchidectomy, which is the basic staging as well as diagnostic surgery for testicular cancer. Any man in whom the ultrasound shows a testicular lump will be subjected to an orchidectomy where the entire testicle and the cord is removed via an inguinal incision which is in the groin region in order to remove it completely. This testicle will then be sent for pathologic examination and there we determine the type and the exact local stage of the disease and look for any high risk features of the cancer. This will allow us to further plan the potential treatment in the form of chemotherapy or surveillance as the case may be. In very rare cases when there are very small tumors or tumors on both sides of the patient we may do what is called a partial orchidectomy where only the testicular tumor is removed and the rest of the testis is kept inside. This is an extremely uh, rare condition where we need to perform this surgery and very close follow-up is needed because the testicle has a higher risk of recurrence in the future. In some men who are extremely bothered about the loss of a testicle, a simple procedure called a prosthesis where an artificial testicle is placed in the scrotal sac may also be performed. There are various types of prosthesis available which may be simple ones made of solid object or saline filled implants or silicone implants which may be implanted depending on the patient's preference. It is basically more of a psychologic reassurance or for cosmetic reason. All the different treatments of testicular cancer can potentially impact a man's fertility. Testicular cancer itself is associated with infertility because the testicles are not normal in, those, in a certain subset of those patients. Secondly, chemotherapy is also known to affect sperm quality and sperm production for up to three to five years after treatment. Given the fact that most men with testicular cancer are in the young reproductive age group and the fact that these treatments may affect their fertility, it is often recommended that they do what is called as semen cryopreservation where the patient's semen sample is stored in liquid nitrogen for up to 20 to 30 years and therefore it can be used in the future in case there are permanent effects on the man's fertility. This will allow the patient to father children in the future using artificial uh, reproductive techniques. This should be a part of counseling for all men with testicular cancer prior to them beginning any treatment. The orchidectomy itself is a very small surgery. It's almost a daycare procedure. The pain is pretty minimal and the patients are ready to go back to normal activities within a week or two of the surgery. In certain cases after chemotherapy where there is a mass still remaining in the abdomen at the end of all the cycles of chemotherapy, a retroperitoneal lymph node dissection or RPLND may be needed. This depends on the exact type of tumor, the amount of chemotherapy that has been uh, received and what size of residual mass remains within the abdomen and whether the PET scan is showing any uptake in that particular lymph node. This involves a major incision from the entire abdomen and the, the lymph nodes within the abdomen are completely removed in a pre-specified template specific for the right or left testicle. This has a very high success rate. However, certain side effects do occur because it is a major surgery. After this surgery, there is a group of men who will not be able to ejaculate because the nerves which are important for ejaculation may be damaged during the surgery. Therefore, nerve preservation is a newer approach which is being tried in order to preserve ejaculation in these men. Today, RPLND can also be performed with a robotic approach. This is a much more minimally invasive procedure which allows for a rapid recovery, no large incision and even the nerve sparing approach can be performed through this technique because there is a 10 times magnified view and a three dimensional view which allows us to see the nerves a little bit better than in the open surgery. Surgery for testicular cancer forms a mainstay of both the diagnosis and staging of the disease as well as ultimately the cure and complete treatment of the disease. 
it is a pretty safe surgery orchidectomy is not a major procedure and patients really do pretty well after that rplnd2 is getting better in terms of safety and the reduction of complications after the surgery and it is needed in only a small subset of patients who have tumors after chemotherapy as well surgery and treatment for testicular cancer has a very high success rate however men should be aware that they should not delay in their diagnosis and come immediately when they suspect that there may be something wrong this reminds me of a story of one of my patients he is a 30 year old gentleman an iit phd who has actually had a lump in the testicle for almost 9 months somehow he is in denial and he refuses to believe even though the ultrasound is pretty convincing and his tumor markers are raised even his ct scan shows a small lymph node in the abdomen however he is still looking for an alternative option and an alternative therapy for his disease and he has not presented back to me for surgery it's just a cautionary note that there is a lot of stigma and a lot of psychological impact associated with the diagnosis of testicular cancer however what's important to know is that it is extremely treatable there are good options for fertility preservation and the complications of treatment are generally quite low and given the fact that most men are in the young reproductive age group it's really important that we be aggressive and try and beat this cancer if you found this video informative please like and share it with others and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you